We're here with head baseball coach Marty Slimek, who is at the helm of the Kingsman for his 22nd season. Coach, CLU has won back-to-back -back Sky and postseason tournament titles over the last two years. You graduated some important senior leadership from the 2014 team, as well as a pair of All-American pitchers. Who stepped into the role of leaders this year so far? Well, I think there's, there's two that have done that, and I think they have to, and that would be uh, Spencer Dubois, who's an all-conference catcher a couple times there, and then Scott Peters, also an all-conference uh, player. Both those guys are seniors. Both those guys have been on the, on the team the last couple of years, been four-year guys for us, and uh, I think they're the ones that have stepped up real good and have taken over the, the leadership role, which is important. I mean, we have to have that, and they, they, I didn't really have to tell them to do that, so that was a good thing. Your 2015 team is a solid core of returning athletes and some talented and incoming players, both as transfers and freshmen. Who stood out to you during some preseason workouts, and what are some of your overall impressions of the group so far, both new and old, and who do you think will make immediate impacts for your yeah, program? Yeah, we're still very young. I mean, we've, we've started a lot of these guys, some, some of these guys when they are freshmen, and then they've had some, they had a real, all these guys that, that are back, had good years or sophomore years. I think the guys that think of stood out, uh, uh, David Casciola, uh, our third baseman, um, Ramsey Abishala, and there, Ju Justin Kanya. Uh, we're very strong in the outfield, uh, and those guys were all, all juniors, and uh, we're, we're pretty excited about those guys. Um, some younger guys um, have, have taken that taken thing. Uh, Austin K, our shortstop, has, has come along really fast, and uh, Frank Sanchez. Excuse me, not Frank. Um, uh, Kyle. Kyle, gosh, <laughs> I, I know his father. That's why I, I played with him, and that's dating myself. But that's that's a bad slip right there. But uh, Kyle's a great kid. Um, we lost him towards the end of last year uh, to a wrist injury. Got him back, but wish we could have had him um, uh, the whole year. It would have probably helped us too later on. But uh, those two kids have really st stood out. We talked briefly about your pitcher-catcher tandem a little bit earlier. Um, what are some of the keys to success on the mound this season for your pitching staff, both your starters and your leavers? Yeah, we probably lost a lot. Uh, we lost, uh, obviously, two All-Americans with Jake Peterson gone and Aaron Roth and then uh, Tyler Hebda, who's also our number two guy. So I think that's a question mark on the team. Um, we have some younger guys that have been with us for the last two, three years, so that's, that's really going to help. Um, I think it's just a matter of how they're going to fit into place and, and how, how far along they've come. Uh, and hopefully they'll, they'll kind of pick up the slack. It'll be tough to do, but they'll probably pick up the slack from last year's team. And just to stay in the field, what are some of the things we should look for defensively this spring? Well, I think that's going to be one of our strengths. And we've got, we got some good team speed. And um, we got uh, all the guys are back, so uh, they're experienced, and um, and I think we're pretty athletic, and you know that always helps. That, that's that's the same team speed, a little bit of athleticism, and that's that's a good sign. And then on the flip side, you've had a potent offense for the last couple of years. You've been nationally ranked in different categories. Some of that power is gone. So who do you think will step up, and who do you anticipate anticipate seeing more production from offensively? Yeah, I think I think. This year we've we've we, we did lose some power in 230 we did and last year, but I think we've gained some. I think uh, the guys have gotten bigger and stronger, and uh, I think we've added a little bit more power this year. So that's a good sign. I think uh, offensively, um, I think they all have to. Um, I don't think it's just one guy uh, because there's going to be times where uh, you know that guy is not going to he, he's going to be shut down or he just has a bad day or it's just not good at the, good good during that their game. So I think I think the team is good enough that if one guy is not having a great series, there's two or three that are going to pick him up. So I think that's a good sign right there, and, and I think the power is there. I think the power is still there. You guys are just a couple days away from opening day. You have four games opening weekend. What are some of the things you're most excited for, and what are your overall expectations for your group this year? Well, I think everybody says the same thing. They just want to get the thing going. Uh, we have a big series this this uh, this weekend with four uh, Western Region games, but basically at non you know not in conference. But you always want to start your season off good, strong. Um, expectations. I mean, you know. You have to set the bar a little high, obviously, um, and you just hope that everybody stays healthy and that uh, what you've done, uh, you know, the coaching and what you've done to try to prepare them is good enough so that they can take it on their own. I've always believed that. I mean, you know, as coaches, you're, as coaches, you can just do so much. Sooner or later, those, those, those players have to take over a game. So uh, hopefully that'll be, that'll be my expectation that they do that. So. Coach, thank you and good luck this spring. All right, thanks a lot.